<clears throat> All right. So uh, sometimes when we're living life, it's really hard to fit fitness in, and that totally makes sense for a lot of us. Uh, just trying to squeeze in enough time in between all the things that we have to do to take care of our bodies is really important. So I'm kind of dedicating this uh, short video for those of you who need a, a short five minute workout. If that's all that you've got time for, there's ways to actually get it done with absolutely no equipment and baby, basically just maybe about 10 feet of space around you, maybe even less than that. So if you only got a little bit of time, this is for you, simple five minute workout, and I'll be adding more and more so you have some new curriculum to keep it fresh um, if this becomes a consistent thing for you. Um, so the first thing that I would work out with, uh, just to kind of get everything, the blood pumping a little bit, would be inchworm, wor uh, inchworm walkout to push up. Very, very simple, you just roll through the spine all the way down, going all the way out, one push up, elbows in, and then come back up. Second time you do it, going all the way out, Using the whole body, you can go for two. And try to keep it kind of up to speed. You are warming up, so you don't want to kill yourself, but you definitely do want to have it like elevate the heart rate for sure, because the next thing that I would have you do would be flipping around, going into triceps. So triceps, you know tricep dips, basically fingers forward and hips up off the ground. You can do this however you'd like to. Um, to elevate this, take it to the next level, you just go one leg cross, make sure you get the other side. Or it's even going harder nice and long, try to keep those hips up, and just going in for a set of tricep dips. Repetitions um, for these short workouts, you can do like maybe, I would say anywhere between eight to 20 repetitions for something like that, or you can time it and just give yourself that Tabata timing of 20 seconds versus 10 seconds. It wouldn't be, there's only one muscle group, so you wouldn't get the heart rate elevated that you want, but it's, it's definitely gonna help out. Um, then we go into power jacks. So we all know traditional jacks, right? These ones are power jacks, so you're adding a squat into it. Try to keep the legs uh, or the feet a little bit more parallel, not exactly straight, straight parallel. You can turn out a little bit, but definitely drive through the heels for these ones. You're gonna go out to a wide, wide, wide squat, send the butt back without kind of hunching or tipping forward. Then from here, come into a nice, closed, even parallel squat. So it looks like this, out and in, going for depth, out. And really feeling the weight drive into your heels. The more weight you have in your heels, the more junk in the trunk. All that support, your knees will be happy, your back will be happy as well. Then from there we're gonna go on to um, a plank, a little plank walkout, just to kind of get everything all centered. From there you go into your plank again, but we're gonna separate the hands and the feet. Just walk out to wherever you start to feel comfortable, uh, where you start to find your limit. So keep in mind as you're doing this, there's a downward press. So you're feeling your lats definitely holding and supporting you, and you're definitely feeling all of that engaging through your lower abdominals. Number one thing to watch out for as you go out, if you start to sag in your lower abdominals, as you're demonstrating, your tailbone starts to lift up, you've gone too far. Even just holding the plank for a while is plenty, but the farther out that you can go and still keep that integrity, a really, really great exercise to do. Hold that again for anywhere, I would say anything less than a minute. I would probably do the other three exercises, boom, 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 boom. Like Tabata style, 20 seconds, 10 seconds of rep, uh, sorry, rest. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Do that for a couple of rounds for about four minutes and then finish with about one round of that, just holding it for one minute if you can. It's kind of a lot, but try anyways. And that'll be a really great workout. Try to do that maybe twice in one day. You'll be good to go. That's all that I have for you. Um, go ahead and subscribe. There'll be more videos just like this. They're gonna be coming up. I'm gonna try and keep that feed coming through. Have a good day. Thanks.